Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and today we are Patch Tuesday, August 12th, 2014 and this is a look at Update 2 or uh, as they now call it just August Update or in very technical term KB2975719 <laughs> and uh, well Microsoft is kind of saying well no it isn't that big a deal but um, you know patches that aren't that big a deal aren't usually like 170 megabytes in download they're usually much smaller and um, so it's been available since about 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or Eastern Daylight Time since we're summer and August 12th and I've installed it actually manually because it's really getting gradual so some people have it some people still don't have it as an official download if you don't do anything and just keep Windows installing updates by itself it's going to be a update that's gonna roll in automatically so it's possible that you don't have it yet um, I personally uh, didn't have it and it wasn't really there so I had to manually push it and here it is KB2975719 right here and so this is what was to be update 2 and uh, which now is simply August update and nothing more so does it add or change or do something new what we know is that it fixes a certain number of bugs in Windows 8.1 and as for features it has touchpad precision that is apparently better so if you're using a touchpad laptop with touchpad um, or a touchpad on a device you should have or apparently there should be more precision on the touchpad now it has a Miracast receive that it added Miracast is that feature where you can send your desktop to another computer and um, now with this update um, it's still not implemented so don't don't search on how to do it right now but uh, it, it's getting there uh, they've now added what we call Miracast receive so now it has send and receive via Wi-Fi which means that technically you could take your laptop screen for example and send it via Wi-Fi to another laptop or another Windows 8 PC uh, but it's not necessar necessarily there yet so uh, but it, I, I think that could be a really great feature and finally there's um, an add to um, a little add-on to uh, actually minimize login on SharePoint websites so when you log into some SharePoint web websites uh, you'll now have more options to keep yourself signed in instead of logging out all the time and having to re-sign in again so there are some changes there what's new in the Windows 8 update stuff is the fact that now starting in this month August and uh, actually more in September uh, Patch Tuesday is changing name so Microsoft is now saying that Patch Tuesday is gone we are now at Update Tuesday so every month starting September we will have Update Tuesday instead of Patch Tuesday they think it's a better name but personally I think they patch more than anything else but one of the changes why they do that change in name is because they kind of said this week that big big updates that have major changes to the system are gone you know like update one and I be I think it's because update one was at a certain point a little bit of a nightmare at startup because they had lots of bugs and they had to fix those and you know stop the update from going on the web then put it back online and so on and I think that was just so complicated that this decided that instead of you know 
making really big updates, why don't we just uh, every month do little updates here and there that will add features? So it means that Windows 8.1, uh, although not you know major features like a start menu, will probably continue to receive little adjustments, little things here and there that are going to be uh, a little better. So um, hopefully that will add features. Apart from that, there's also in the uh, August update um, apparently some stability and some performance issues that are fixed. So uh, if you find your system going a little faster, it's possible. I personally haven't seen really much difference, but uh, apparently on some machines it can. And um, also on stability, so if you've had some uh, crashing or some uh, problems, uh, maybe this fix will you know, help you get a better stable computer. And apart from that, there's a lot of updates. Uh, there's like, I believe, nine different updates that address all sorts of issues on uh, different levels of security in Windows 8.1. So uh, a lot of updates to get and to patch. By the way, if you haven't received them yet and you want to force them, you can, of course, just go into your search. Just type the search here uh, on the on your screen or on the charms bar. Click type update and click check for updates. Click the check now button and um, you will see that if you haven't received them yet, it might say, well, there's no really uh, new updates, but you have some optional updates. Actually, these are going to be the official updates. It's just that they're going you know, country by country and they're going slowly because they don't want to overload the server. So they patch or they you know, send the updates to some machines first and then continue on. So you can click check now and um, you know, install, choose uh, the uh, updates that you want to install. And uh, if you uh, aren't sure, well, you can, of course, view your update history, which will give you an idea. If you um, see KB2975719, that's what was called um, Update 2, but it's now August Update. So if you're wondering, if you have it, just check out if you have KB2975719. So uh, that's pretty much the news for this update today. Um, be sure to make the updates, of course, um, especially the security updates. I haven't had any um, glitches, any problems, and uh, my update for Windows 8.1 was about, uh, well, in total, was about 270 megabytes, all the updates together. Just the um, update 2 or August update uh, was about 170 megabytes. So it uh, gives you an idea. Uh, and this is for the X64, so 64 bits version. So uh, good luck. Hope no glitches and no problem happened while you, list, you uh, installed it. And um, hopefully uh, helps you get a better usage of your computer, maybe more stable. And we'll be checking out uh, the updates every month and see what is coming next. And uh, from what we now know, the next major thing that's going to happen with Windows, well, it will be Windows 9 or Threshold, somewhere in 2015. If you enjoy our videos, why not subscribe to our channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions on what you've seen, let us know. Maybe you have a feature of Windows 8, a problem with Windows 8, something you'd like to have an answer. Let us know. We'll try to help you. We'll try to put a video online. And hopefully, you will be helped and will come back and why not tell everyone with Windows 8 machines about this channel where you can learn how to use Windows 8 to the max. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.